Hey, this is Julie again with Sunnyside Shop. Today I am going to basically show you how I go about my listing. Uh, fairly simple, easy, um, nothing too in-depth. Uh, just a preview of uh, how quickly you could list some, an item without taking a lot of shortcuts. Um, today I just finished up listing these boots that I found yesterday and uh, basically what I'll go ahead and do is create similar here. I just had to revise those. Um, I forgot to add one, one uh, description uh, piece in there. So I'd go to create similar and I've already done that so I'm going to go here. And so this is uh, what my next item is going to be. Uh, which is going to be that green Budweiser hat, as you may have seen in the last um, couple videos. And I've already created a title uh, when I decided I'll go ahead and do an on-screen recording. Uh, so it's a women's pre-owned hat. Uh, the brand is The Game. It's Budweiser. Um, green, obviously, it's a hat. It's adjustable. It's got pink embroidery on the front. It says the Budweiser. Uh, and then this custom skew is really handy. Um, what that does, no one can, the buyers can't see it, but it's for your purpose only uh, to, to track how much you spent on the item. So I put Goodwill Outlet and the outlet store was charging 99 cents per pound at the time. So when we put that in our Excel file to see our uh, profit and, and loss and shipping and stuff like that, we will have that information in there. Uh, and then I'll go into hats and change this to, um, it could probably be worn by either a man or a woman, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it under unisex, uh, whether it's pink and green, doesn't matter. Uh, this is our store category here. These are all of our categories that we have, and so we just have a hats. And then the subcategory, uh, since I do work with somebody else, uh, obviously you guys know Sarah by now, uh, I just put under J and that's my category. It really can't be seen by anybody, but that's for our information. There's no UPC, so we just keep that. And these all default to that if you're uh, piggybacking off a previous listing. Uh, it is pre-owned, and I will go ahead and delete that, and delete these photos from the old item. And then while I'm putting the condition description in there, I'll go to my photos and go ahead and get those uploaded. And while I'm typing in this, uh, I don't go too into depth. Some people do, um, but a general description. Uh, it's in good condition. It's gently worn. It's not... Uh, beat up it doesn't look like um, and then if it has you know if it does have a problem I'll usually mention it there but this appears to be in good condition it, it does look like a, a shallow crown or mid crown probably uh, so I'll type that in mid crown hat um, and then some minor wear on the front forehead. So then I'll copy that, select it all and copy it. Just kind of make sure my hats, my photos, these aren't the greatest pictures, but it gets the job done. I kind of make sure I take a picture of the front, the side, close up of the logos, uh, both sides, the tag, and then the inside, and if there's any damage or anything. And these item specifics here, um, brand is not pink. Uh, we do want adjustable. Brand would be the game. Color is green. Uh, and you can go through and where it was made. Made in China. Uh, so we'll put China. Materials, cotton. In style, it's a baseball cap. So that's pretty easy. Just delete that. Uh, center that back in there. And then I do uh, 
free shipping. And then this is automatically in everything because we do ship internationally. Uh, good condition, generally worn. And then for here, we'll just put uh, green Budweiser hat. And then uh, adjustable strap. And that's pretty much it. And if you want to change anything uh, as far as the uh, font or whatever, it's pretty pretty easy there. I'm sure everybody who's been watching this either is newer to listing on eBay or uh, has done it before. Uh, and then the price. Um, I did look this up. Budweiser Green Hat. I didn't see anything about... Um, Having, oh, there's one right there. Oh, not nearly as good as what I've seen uh, in the past that these hats have sold for. And somebody may just wanted to get rid of it. Who knows? They only had about $10 on it, $11. Uh, but there's none listed right now uh, as far as I saw. So I'm going to go ahead and list it for a higher price because there's none listed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put $24.95 on it. And I'll do a follow-up on this item since I've talked about it when I bought it and I talked about it when I listed it. And then when it sells, I'll actually come back and say this is what it sold for. Some people make offers. Uh, Sarah does. I don't. I tend to be firm on my price um, and just let it be like that. Uh, you can require immediate payment. I sometimes do on my higher price items, so I'm not waiting forever uh, for a payment. Otherwise, after four days, I believe uh, it goes into a non-paying bidder status anyway. And then uh, this is all pre-filled. I'll do economy shipping. This will go first class, so I can actually go ahead and just change that now. Uh, you can put in the weight. If you know it, I don't have a scale on my desk, um, but uh, that's that's pretty much it. And 10 cents fee, and then we list it. And then on my next item, um, I'll, I won't go through that, but I'll be listing a shirt. So I'll basically do the same thing, create similar, change the categories to uh, men's t-shirt. And that's it for today. Please like and subscribe or leave comments. Uh, you can visit our eBay store. It's also in the description below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon.